Open Our Eyes, Lord, by Lynette Kittle, read by Ellie Johnson. And Elisha prayed, Open his eyes, Lord, so he may see. Then the Lord opened the servant's eyes, and he looked and saw the hills full of horses and chariots of fire all around Elisha. 2 Kings 6.17 Have you ever found yourself feeling outnumbered and surrounded by the opposition? If so, you understand those who may feel hopeless and helpless when encircled by the enemy, not knowing where to turn or what to do next. Yet, when the prophet Elisha woke up to find an enemy's army with horses and chariots encamped around him, unlike his servant who began to panic, he had a different reaction. Don't be afraid, the prophet answered. Those who are with us are more than those who are with them. 2 Kings 6.16 Realizing his servant could only see what was happening in the natural, Elisha asked God to open his servant's eyes so he could see what was really going on in the spiritual. For many of us, it's easier to become distracted and caught up in what the enemy is doing around us than to keep our eyes steadily focused on the Lord. And Sadly, some believers in difficult situations believe they have to fight their battles on their own, leading many to turn to worldly tactics rather than applying spiritual principles. But like Elisha requested for his servant, rather than thinking we're all on our own in the conflict, we can ask God to open our eyes to see him in the midst of our circumstances. We too can pray for him to reveal the truth of the situation to us. Instead of feeling alone and outnumbered, we can inquire of God to show us beyond what we see through our physical eyes. We can ask him for a glimpse into the spiritual to see how he is standing with us. Too often, our emotions and responses are based on what we see because we're looking only at the natural circumstances. But like those in the Bible, we can encourage not only ourselves, but also those around us to gain confidence in God by reminding each other where our strength and victory come from in the world. 2 Chronicles 32, 7-8 records a time where Israel's enemy was staging a mighty attack against them. Instead of cowering in fear, King Hezekiah took the opportunity to encourage his people by reminding them where their power comes from in difficult situations. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged because of the king of Assyria and the vast army with him, for there is a greater power that is with us than with him. With him is only the arm of flesh, but with us it is the Lord our God to help us and to fight our battles." and the people gained confidence from what Hezekiah the king of Judah said. We too can gain confidence to be strong, courageous, and free from fear and discouragement when we remind ourselves and one another of the one who is on our side. Like 1 John 4.4, God reminds us, You, dear children, are from God and have overcome them because the one who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world. Hey everyone, thanks for listening to Your Daily Bible Verse, a production of the Salem Web Network. If you enjoyed what you heard today, we'd love for you to head over to iTunes and rate and review our podcast. It really does help people find us. This episode was produced by our managing editor, Kelly Givens, and recorded and edited by Stephen Sanders. Be sure to come back tomorrow as we examine more of God's Word.